Hello friends, good morning. I welcome you all to this session on scheme of valuation, the syllabus for this engineering graphics under VTU Belagavi. Students, you know very well that we have this engineering graphics paper which is also called as engineering drawing. And this subject is a common subject for all students doing their be any branch, any program. And this as usual carries 100 marks in the examination. And in VTU syllabus, we have 100 marks similar to any other university. And the syllabus of this engineering graphics is divided into five modules as I have shown here. Module 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And every module the marks allocation is also shown here and the total time given for completing this paper is 3 hours that is 180 minutes. And one important clue I would like to give to you my dear students. See here your practice of this drawing is very very essential because even if you know the complete solution for all the problems to be solved if you do not have sufficient speed, then you will not be able to complete. So in today's session, I am going to tell you what are the marks allocated for each module and how you should attempt them. For example, if you just see this module 1, it deals with the projection of points and lines. So this will carry 25 marks. And in this particular paper in VTU, you have to make both manual drawing and also compute that in the system, take the computer print out. So manual drawing always carries 60% of the total marks, whereas this computer print out will carry 40 marks. So out of these 25 marks, 15 marks are for the manual drawing, which the student is going to complete using the instruments, pencil, etc. And then he has to compute that in the system, that carries 25, 10 marks. Totally, the marks is 25. Similarly, when you come to the second module, we have the projection of lamina. Lamina is nothing but a plane surface or a thin plate. So we have got the projection of lamina, that is plural form of lamina, like pentagonal lamina, hexagonal lamina, circular lamina, triangular lamina, semicircular lamina, and so on and so forth. This also carries in the same way 25 marks and the manual marks for the manual drawing is 15 and that for the computer printout is 10. One happy news about these students is that you have a choice between module 1 and module 2. So you have the choice to answer either the module 1 which consists of the problems and lines and points, the second one and lamina. So you have to preferably prepare both. If you prepare both the module you will not have any difficulty to scoring 25 marks out of 25. Then friends, the most important part of this particular subject, engineering graphics, is that the module 3, which deals with the projection of solids, such as prisms, pyramids, cones, cylinders, piers, etc., it carries 45 marks. That is almost 50% of the whole syllabus of your engineering graphics. And here one has to be extremely careful because if any student omits this particular chapter or the module on this projection of solids, chances of getting good marks is just a dream. Because from the other parts, you got only 25 plus 30, 55 marks. We do not know how many marks the student will be able to get. So again here in this projection of solids, you have 45 marks and 60% of that is for allocated for the manual drawing that carries 27 marks and 18 marks for the computer printout. Next, coming to this module number 4, we have development of solids. That is development of the lateral surfaces of all these solids like a cone, a prostrum of a cone, a pyramid, prostrum of a pyramid and then you have got the cylinders etc. Here, you have got 30 marks allocated. Again, in the breakup, you have got 18 marks for the manual drawing and 12 marks for 
the computer printout. Finally, we have this isometric projection. Isometric projection of small objects like a prism, a block, a pyramid, a plastrum of a pyramid, a cone, a cylinder, a sphere, hemisphere, tetrahedron, and so on and so forth. In the syllabus we have got in VTU, you are supposed to have the draw the isometric projection of combination of solids. Maybe they will ask you to keep a sphere on the plastrum of a cone. And then they will ask you to keep on a rectangular block a pentagonal pyramid. And such problems are there. But happy news about this is that you have choice to answer either this development of solids or isometric projection. That is, you got the choice between module 4 and 5 and again choice between module 1 and 2. But again I am repeating you question number 2 that is module number 3. The projection of solids very 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 important and it carries 45 marks and there are 3 steps involved. So here if you just total up this, in the whole examination you will have to answer just 3 questions. One from the planes or the lines. Second question is the compulsory question that is the projection of solids and the third part is either of the isometric projection or development of the solids. Friends remember I told you in the beginning of the session that planning the time is very very important because I told you initially even if you know the complete solution and if you don't have sufficient practice you will not be able to answer all the three questions in the examination because it takes a lot of time. So here I have just marked the allocation how we should uh, split up the time available. So you have got three hours that is 180 minutes. So here when you are answering either module 1 or module 2 you should not take more than 45 minutes in the total allocated time of 180 minutes. Then coming to the solid I told you there are three stages in the projection of solid initial position the first tilt then second tilt. So there will be totally three figures above the xy line and three figures below six figures you should draw hence it will take lot of time. I advise you all to practice this projection of solids whenever you get time at home on Sundays, Saturdays and on a day whenever you are free keep practicing this projection of solids because it will fetch you 45 marks straight out of 100 marks. Then friends coming to this module 4 it carries 30 marks totally. So proportion to the time available and the marks I have allocated 55 minutes. So my suggestion is to take not more than 55 or 1 hour maximum to solve a question on this development. Similarly if you are doing isometric also you have to take not more than 50 to 60 minutes to complete that. Friends you remember now coming to the examination pattern. The examination pattern you will be asked to answer three questions. One from module 1 and 2, module 3 compulsory question, one from module 4 and 5. So you will have to answer 25 marks question, 45 marks question or 30. It comes to totally 100 marks. In the syllabus of VTU you have got totally 100 marks allocated out of which 40 marks are the internal assessment marks which includes the test marks, the assignment marks, marks obtained from quiz and so on and so forth. So in the examination even though it is conducted at 100 marks that is 25 plus 30 plus 45 the final mark after evaluation of the sheet will be reduced to 60 marks. So the total 100 marks is comprising of the 40 marks from the internal assessment and 60 marks from the university examination. My friends, I hope you have followed the scheme of valuation, how the marks are allocated and this is very very essential and remember friends, you should always have lot of practice, practice, practice. So whenever you get time, do practice them with scale means use the instruments and practice. If you have thorough practice, I am assuring you, you will never get a mark lesser than 90 plus. So thank you very much for listening to my uh, lecture on this scheme of valuation about the engineering graphics paper etc. 
I wish you all a wonderful Sunday. Keep drawing, keep practicing. And this is Dr. M. H. Chanaya signing off.